Hi everyone, uh, my name is Zala Ahmed. Um, I'm a PhD student in the University of South Australia and um, I am here today to uh, present a part of my PhD study in Central Flinders Ranges. So the presentation theme today is uh, integrated remote sensing and GIS in linear features mapping for water resources study in Central Flinders Ranges, uh, South Australia. So I have divided uh, my presentation today into many parts. So I will start by introduction, study area, uh, the problem statement, objectives, methods, analysis, and finally conclusion. So I will start by uh, a question about groundwater. As uh, all presentation today are speaking about uh, groundwater, so groundwater is so important for uh, the world and for Australia. So for Australia, it is um, it is it makes up uh, about uh, thirty third of the estimated total water so, uh, water use. This is according to ABS uh, two thousand and twelve, and we can see in this figure uh, there are, there is uh, three different colors, and you can use uh, there is increase in water use uh, through uh, three periods of time. And this increasing this increased by 60 percent in the period from 1983 to uh, 1997, and 10 percent of the total groundwater use usage is from fractured rocks. This is according to Harrington and Cook, 2014. So the management of this important resource is very important because any depletion in this uh, resource. Uh, is dangerous. So we choose a study area in central Flinders ranges as you can see here there are there is two maps. Uh, the first first one is for the study area and second one for central Flinders ranges. So the study area is north of the Plenamen. Uh, location of study area is 79 kilometers southwest of Lake Rake and 210 kilometers northeast of Port Augusta. And the climate of this area is semi-arid to arid climate. Um, uh, the geology of Saudi area is mainly fractured uh, rocks. This is Ampertana and Wilpena groups, according to Press uh, 2000. And the hydrogeology is um, there is four water bearing formation in this area, as you can see in this figure. This is Tabli Hill, Etna, Brachin, and Binary Formation. So what is the problem of this area? We found three problems. The first one is limited data. The geology has extensively <laughs> studied by many people, but nothing is known about the groundwater regime or aquifers in this area. And the groundwater is considered the main, the main source of water in this area. Uh, the second problem is scaling problem because most of studies concentrated in uh, local scales uh, and few are focused in regional, sca in regional scale. The third problem is fractured or porous rocks because the, uh, the aquifers in this area are mainly fractured rocks and groundwater occurred in this setting. Uh, if you see here, there are two figures. The first one is um, about about porous media, and second one about fractured rocks. So uh, we have to choose. Uh, we 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 use the the second uh, the second figure as conceptual model to study area to to study the groundwater in this area. So fractured aquifers are important for groundwater. If you see in this figure, there are two uh, wells. The first one is a dry well, and the second one is a good well. The good well is intersected with uh, fractured uh, setting. Uh, so there is a definition for the liniment. Is, is any surface expression of fractured uh, geologic setting in the form of topography or drainage lines. So what is the objective of, of this study? The objective is to use available data to study the groundwater in this area 
And there is a specific objective is to identify and extract geolinements and other discontinuities from remote sensing data and geologic maps and field works. And finally, to evaluate the characteristics, hydro hydrogeological characteristics of these linements. Continue with the materials and methods. We use many, um, many uh, methods and materials in this study, but there are, there are four main steps. If you see in this figure, there is data and there is processing, extraction, and finally evaluation. The first results we can get from, um, from these methods, we use SRTM just f uh, to define the study area. So you can see there is two maps. The first one is row SRTM, and the second one is a study area with the drainage uh, lines. Continue with the results, as you can see here. We trace the faults in the study area. We extract these faults as a layer from geologic maps, and we measure the orientation and length, and also we trace a density map from, uh, uh, for the faults in this area. And this is the liniment, as you can see, there is a map here, this is extracted from ATM7 Plus. And also we extracted orientation and lenses of these uh, linear features. And also we traced a density map. And finally we make like a verification of the linear features we extracted from geologic maps and remote sensing. So there are, this is a failed study of the fractured and joints in the study area, we choose seven stops and we measure the orientation in terms of strike and um, dip of uh, the fractures. And also we, um, we, we trace the orientation in terms of rose diagrams and lenses. And in this table you can find this is like a comparison between the trace and the measured fractures. So we found a similarity between the trend of the different linear features and there, is, there may be a local variation in liniment orientation, length and density which is probably attributed to the heterogeneity of these types of rocks or structural and stress variation. And finally we make evaluation of these linear features. We try to relate the liniment or linear features to uh, location of the springs in the study area and also try to relate these linear features to uh, wells uh, and also uh, the composition of water for uh, the different wells. Continue with the evaluation of linear features. As you can see, there is two figures here. The first one is a relationship between TDS and proximity to liniments, and we, we find a good relationship between uh, TDS and uh, proximity to liniments. And the second one is location of springs to uh, proximity of uh, liniments, and we find also a good relationship between uh, location of springs and uh, proximity to liniments, as you can see in this figure. Uh, most of springs located under the line, under 800 meters, so there is a relationship between them. So the correlation between the water composition and location of springs and liniments indicate the occurrence of fractured zone of greater porosity and conductivity. And also we try to, um, to relate um, the temporal um, relationship to, uh, to the linear features. Uh, because we have a water level and the EC for uh, three years. So the relation, if you, if you see th in these figures also, the relationship between liniments, water table fluctuation and EC indicate a good recharge and flow process. And this significant varia variation of ground level and EC between the different zones indicate that the liniments control the ground water flow along the study area likely forming many local flow systems through uh, the Orotang area, study area. So in summary, uh, in areas with limited previous investigation and the hydrogeological uh, data, remote sensing and GIS methods provide support mm -hmm. in water studies. And liniment maps plotted from satellite data are very useful for groundwater studies. 
While field studies help to detect the nature of structures and co correlate elements interpretation with geological structures, and all the interpretation supports the hydrogeological significance of liniments and the correlation of different parameters with the proximity to the liniments interpreted from satellite images confirms that high yielding wells, low saline and springs are related to uh, liniments. And this knowledge could be used to build uh, hydrogeological models for, uh, for, uh, for the areas uh, which is only limited data. Thank you. Distance from the fracture zone? Yeah. What was the average, what's the, the median distance to a fracture zone in the area? Uh, we tried to uh, see the location of these wells to yeah. the nearest liniments. So, which will, uh, wells located away from, from, from liniments are uh, maybe high, uh, low saline, high saline. And that's near the liniments are low saline. Right. So we, d we don't put, you know, a uh, distance, maybe defined distance. Any audience questions? No, you're just putting your glasses on. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.